Assalamu alaikum guys This is obviously like one of my favorite books And it says Tawheed means the oneness of Allah It is the main part of Iman, which is faith And is beautifully expressed in Suratul Ikhlas Ikhlas in the Quran, it says, say, he is Allah, the one, Allah is eternal and absolute. None is born of him, nor is he born. And there is none like him. Tawheed is the most important Islamic belief. It means that everything on this earth is created by Allah, who looks after and provides for all of the needs of every creature. He is the only source of our guidance. Tawheed is the belief in Allah with all his powers. Allah is the all-knowing, the all-wise, and all-powerful. He is merciful, the kind, and the most loving. He is with us all the time. He sees us, but we do not see him. He was, is, and always will be. He is the first and the last. He has no partner or daughter or son. He has no partner, son, or daughter. Nor was he born of anyone. He gives us life and takes it away. Everyone must return to him after death. The first duty of a Muslim is to declare his faith. To make this declaration, a person must say in words and believe in his heart, La ilaha illallah hu Muhammadu Rasulullah. There is no God except Allah. Muhammad, peace be upon him, is Allah's messenger. The saying of these Arabic words is called a shahada, declaration of faith. There are two parts of this decl declaration. La ilaha illallah and Muhammad Rasulullah. Muhammad Rasulullah. The first part, I'll do a part three. <laughs> a believer must first cleanse his heart of the idea of any other God or any other object of worship. Only then can faith in the oneness of Allah take root inside the heart. Let us try to understand this with an example. Suppose we have a piece of land which is full of weeds and bushes where we want to grow wheat. Now, if we sow, if we sow very good wheat seeds in the land without first cleaning it fully, we cannot hope to get a good wheat crop. So what must we do? We must cultivate the land, clear the weeds and bushes, and prepare the soil before we sow the weeds. Then we can expect good crops. Let us compare the land with the human heart. If the heart is full of belief in false gods, we cannot expect Tawheed to take root there. So it must be cleansed of any other god or object of worship. Only then will Tawheed take root and the light of faith will shine. Tawheed shapes and influences the entire course of our life. This is why we must have a clear understanding of its meaning.